Hi, kids. So we're back again with the, uh, the kids Mitsubishi Galant. You guys have seen me work on this a couple times by now, probably. It's got another coil pack out. This time it's the number one. This car's got the 3.8 liter V6. It's got three coils across the front that are very easy to get to. And of course, that's not the ones we're working on. The one we want to work on is back there. Actually, it's right there. That's number one. You got to change that out. Now, because uh, we're kind of trying to be quick about this, this car is hotter than fire right now. Kid just pulled up. Put this fan on there. And try and suck some of the heat away. It seems like the fan has helped quite a bit. Hold the bucket. 10 millimeters on this plastic cover. I think. Cool little wrench, but it's really loud. Let's switch over to the 12 millimeter. These are all 12 millimeter. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven bolts. Hold that plenum on. What I'm gonna do is take that vacuum hose loose. Then I'm gonna take the uh, hose loose here. Some of these plugs. And there's a couple bolts in the back I gotta get as well. Intake temp or something like that, sensor. Like that. Now on the back of the intake, there are these two nuts, which I think are 12s. Are they 12s? Yeah, those have to come loose. I think that's part of the EGR system. Let's go ahead and unbolt this. Can we just pop that loose? Oh yeah, we can just pop that off. Okay, so the wiring harness is loose on the front. Close. That loose. There. And this plug. Oh, I'll have to slide off. Here where we took those two 12 milliliters off right here. There's also a bracket that holds it, so we want to take that loose as well. That one is also a 12 millimeter. Deep well sockets are not always the best idea. Fuck it. All right, now that is loose enough to come off. What's up? I said to her, I was like, I'm gonna go bother him. She's like, yeah, I do that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure this looks like an alien. Uh, what the hell? There's something else holding that. I can't remember what it is. This is the annoying wrench. That's what my mom calls it. Well, you know why it's annoying? That's also why I'm annoying. Yeah, you make the same sound. <laughs> out here someday because of that noise i know yeah oh that's what it is that's got to come off Ta -da. curtain look he's got a all right it's now a full-on thunderstorm and i'm swapping this coil out um, pull the intake off, put the new gasket on. See how many bolts are in the bucket. Now they're nice and clean now. Sorry, I know this video got cut short, but uh, so did my day. Two nuts going back. You remember, 12 millimeter, hold that uh, exhaust pipe on.
put that bolt back in. That bolt uh, holds, it's a brace that goes from the throttle body to the motor block, and that just keeps things from vibrating. Got to take that off. There was another one over here uh, at some point, but the housing's actually broke over there, so I guess somebody got too crazy putting back together. This hose pops on this side. That one on. That one on. Clamps on. This hose. And this hose. Thunder and lightning. Very, very, very frightening. Plug this up. I think these are for the fuel injectors, maybe. I don't know. Oh, wrong way. There we go. left are the bolts for the cover. Let's keep the cover back on the motor. time this is Clint Cersei saying you can do this I promise I'm not sure why you'd want to but you could if you had to ridiculous my life is ridiculous <laughs>